This is everything you need to know about a cloud engineer, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, their salaries, future job growth potential, certifications, as well as how to become a cloud engineer yourself. So cloud is definitely another one of those buzzwords that has been pretty popular. And a lot of people I know either want to go into cloud engineering, cloud consultant, or cloud security engineering roles. And essentially a cloud engineer is someone who manages, designs, maintains, and supports all aspects of an organization's cloud infrastructure, whether they're using a public cloud, a private cloud, or a hybrid. Personally, I think cloud engineering is definitely one of those big roles that are going to be more and more popular in the next few years, especially with more companies that are switching over to public cloud infrastructure. For example, Azure, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, many smaller to medium sized companies specifically are finding that running their own data centers, if they have ever done that or have considered doing that, is very, very expensive when it comes to upgrading parts, just having the data center on premise themselves, not to mention upgrades and patching and fixing any hardware that goes bad. Basically maintaining a data center, all the upkeep and maintenance that goes into it is very, very expensive. And the smaller to medium sized companies that may have started with a data center are quickly realizing and adopting to a public cloud infrastructure or maybe some kind of hybrid solution depending on the sector that they're in. If their data is a little bit more sensitive and needs to be housed in on-premises data centers, but typically for most companies, as long as you're not housing any highly sensitive data or potentially for compliance and auditing purposes, going for a public cloud infrastructure is, is probably going to be the best lower cost solution compared to hosting your own data centers. And that is why many companies are, are starting to hire cloud engineers, cloud analysts, consultants, you name it cloud support technicians. A lot of these are oftentimes specifically tied to a specific platform like Azure or, or AWS. While most cloud platforms have similar functionalities, there may be certain aspects or features that may vary depending on the platform that you're using. And that is why this is definitely a highly specialized area. And if you're going to cloud engineering, you're likely going to have to choose at least one or two different areas that you're going to be specialized in or an SME, rather than someone who is a very general cloud enthusiast or cloud analyst. And I think this is definitely one of those roles in tech that the more deep knowledge that you know about this specific area, whatever cloud platform that you are, that you're most interested in is also going to be directly tied into how fast you're going to grow in your career. So depending on the team that you're going into, different cloud engineers may have to use different levels of programming skills, for example, knowledge of programming languages, including SQL, Java, Python. Remembering specifically that cloud engineering is a very technical role. You'll also need knowledge, different operating systems like Linux, which is frequently used for cloud development, have some kind of background knowledge in database management using MySQL or Hadoop, network management, DevOps, containerization and virtualization, security along with disaster recovery, as well as in-depth knowledge about the different web services and APIs that correspond to your specific cloud provider. Right, so next up, I did want to specifically discuss the salaries for a cloud engineer. And this is definitely one of the big reasons why cloud engineering is becoming much, much more popular. So these are the average salaries across the US for a cloud engineer. The average salary is about $117,000 per year on average in the US. On salary.com, this average goes up to $133,000 on average in the US. And on Glassdoor, the average salary for a cloud engineer is $102,000 per year. So safe to say, based on these average salaries, the typical salary is going to be above six figures. And that is definitely something to note, especially because a lot of people are going into cloud engineering, specifically from bootcamp programs, being self-taught. And there isn't necessarily a cloud security or cloud engineering major that is in colleges nowadays. In fact, that may be a specialization that your school offers, but typically this is a still relatively new field and you typically aren't going to learn about it in your classes outside of maybe one or two. And the majority of the learning that you're going to be doing is hands-on projects, courses online, as well as boot camps. So that is a big reason why cloud engineering is becoming such a big area because of the fact that the barrier to entry is going to be courses, certifications, and boot camp programs. So that is something definitely to keep in mind. Starting with those three things and going into directly a six figure job is definitely something that is going to be highly sought after. And that is another reason why I think cloud engineering is also very competitive. But again, this is only one bowl in cloud, in the cloud space. There are still cloud analysts, cloud support technicians, cloud security engineers, cloud architects, cloud consultants. And I think that's another reason why there is kind of a role for everyone in the cloud space whether or not you want to be an engineer or a technician or 
a consultant or something in between. So now that we've discussed the salary for a cloud engineer, let's go specifically into the growth into the growth trajectory of a cloud engineer and what the actual sector looks like and what it will look like in the upcoming 5, 10, 15 years. This is something that I always consider when it comes to picking a career and considering what careers that you want to go into. I think the three primary things are job security, salary, as well as job growth. I know with job security nowadays, even with the talks about the tech recession and the layoffs that we have still been seeing in even the last few weeks, the last few months with the big tech companies and other smaller companies as well. I wouldn't ever put a 100% label on any job for job security, but I do think that there was definitely a demand for these roles in cloud engineering, and they also definitely come with high salaries. And when it comes to job growth, according to a survey report, the global cloud computing industry is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of about 16.3% from $445 billion in 2021 to about $947 billion by 2026. And they've also listed in addition that seven out of 10 organizations using cloud services intend to increase their expenditures. So using cloud providers is definitely a win-win for everyone. It's a lower cost for the companies who are using the cloud platforms. And it also becomes a business for the big cloud providers, which in turn ends up making more jobs for both sides for the cloud providers like Azure, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, as well as the companies that are using those services Services. Plus, with more and more companies who are switching over to cloud infrastructures, there are also going to be more jobs created specifically, even through other forms of employment like freelancing, contractors, and consultants that may not necessarily be the typical nine to five full-time employee that companies will have. And personally, I think that's another aspect of other job search analysis to be to be wary of, especially if you're someone who potentially may want that kind of flexibility where maybe you're working for a few years full-time and then eventually you want to switch into a freelance type of role or a consultant type role, but you're still able to take the skill sets that you've earned and be able to take that into your future jobs. Now, when it comes to certifications, I do think that the cloud space is definitely one of the big ones, the notorious ones, to be known to look for candidates who have certifications with these specific cloud platforms that companies are hiring for. As someone who isn't in the cloud space, personally, I think it's a great option to specifically start, especially if you're just starting out as a beginner, to look at the trainings and certifications that are offered by the cloud providers themselves. For example, what certification programs that Google may have for Google Cloud Platform, what courses, certifications, and trainings that AWS may have, as well as similar ones from Azure. I know there's many, many cloud platforms and certification programs out there that, that could definitely potentially be better than the ones that are provided, sometimes even for free, by the cloud providers themselves. But I still think that's a good place to start, especially if there's free material that you can look at to see if this is something of interest to you when you're just starting out and kind of trying to figure out what career path that you want to go into. But I also think this is definitely one of the starting points when it comes to looking for a job in cloud engineering because many of them likely are going to look for some official certification to know that you've had some kind of hands-on experience, you've worked on projects, you've used certain features offered by the cloud providers to be able to show to employers that you have experience, that you have the experience that they're looking for to be able to get hired on as a cloud engineer or a cloud consultant or a support technician, whatever role that you're applying for in the cloud space. Personally, I think this is one of those areas where personal projects, a beginner slash entry-level cloud certification and a bootcamp can get you very far in terms of getting your foot in the door for a role like this that has that has high starting salaries and a good job growth trajectory. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Let me know if there's any other video topics that you may want to see from me in the future and I will add them to my backlog. Also, don't forget to check out our Discord channel as well as other career resources linked in my description below. Everything is linked in the description below, basically. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.